and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very requested video in terms of study videos and it's how I actually organise my folders. So as a lot of you guys know I am currently at uni but I feel like my setup is quite versatile and just really suitable for anyone whether you're doing GCSEs or A-levels or even at uni so yeah I just thought I would show you because you seem to be really interested in it and also this is a collab with two of my favourite study YouTubers Alana and also Melly so I will link their channel and the videos in the description box down below. Please go and check their channels out and their videos because I know they're going to be amazing because they always are and yeah I'm really really excited to get started. So I'm just going to get straight into it. So as you can see I have two folders here and this is the system that just works for me. So I have my like daily everyday go-to folder which is everything that I'm currently working on. Any of those lecture notes and coursework and things just goes into this folder and then I have my gigantic lever arch folder which kind of just just say like it's so heavy like look at that like it's actually insane how much work we've done this year so far um, and I still have two modules to go so I have no idea how that's gonna fit into this folder but I'm just gonna have to try and stuff it in somehow and this is just my folder of everything basically just everything that I've worked on in the past and none of the current stuff is in this folder just because it's so much easier to carry this around if I need to and I can't actually remember where this folder was from I feel like it was from like home bargains or something but I literally can't remember but I know that this lever arch was from the range and I also have the purple one which I'm going to use for next year so yeah this is kind of my setup so what I'm going to do first is because I haven't really sorted out this everyday folder in a while I haven't printed off all my lecture notes and any coursework stuff that I need to print off I'm going to start by doing that so currently this is what this folder looks like and I'm going to talk you through all of these like compartments and dividers and stuff once it's complete but at the moment I just have the starts of the lecture notes and just everything else that we were doing from the previous module. I am currently working on two other modules, which I've literally started like last week. So I'm gonna print all the stuff off for that as well. And then I'm just gonna show you how it's all set out and yeah, go from there. So I'm back from the mammoth task of printing and by mammoth I mean mammoth like look how much stuff there is like I think I've pretty much used all of my ink from my printer but this is like months yeah like probably like a couple of months worth of work that I just haven't printed off yet and filed away so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the work into plastic wallets and I use these ones from Wilco they're the A4 extra strong punch pockets. I absolutely love these because they are really really shiny so I don't know if anybody else has this thing with plastic wallets but when they're shiny it just makes it so much better so I absolutely love those and I also have my stapler which is from I can't remember which brand it's from but I have the Repesco rose gold staples and I just got this off Amazon it's amazing like I'm obsessed with it and also before I forget I remembered where my ring binder was from it was from Asda because yeah I just remember our trip like me and my mum went and I remember getting it so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to be filing it all away and then once it's filed away I'll show you how everything is organised is finally up to date so I'm just going to go through it as the folder progresses and talk you through how I organise things. So the first thing you see when you come into this folder is this punched pocket wallet type thing and this is from Wilco and it was really really cheap it was only like 50p or a pound or something and in here I basically keep all of my coursework materials and all of my tutorial stuff, all of my workshop stuff, anything that isn't really related to lectures and is kind of different so I just keep that 
all in there so it's just really easy to access and it's all in one place. I do recommend that you get one of these if you do have any sort of loose sheets or anything that you just like to keep neat into your folder. It's just really really handy so yeah I just keep that in the front. And then following through the folder I have these dividers and I actually got these dividers from Tiger and they came in a really nice array of colours and they're kind of like this see-through shiny material like I literally don't know what that's called but they're really really nice and the rest of them are in my main folder which I'll show you in a bit and this just divides up my different modules so in university we have different modules for yeah just different lectures and I feel like you kind of have that at school as well because like you can split up your subjects and stuff so dividers are just really helpful in general so in this divider I have my 109 module which is the last module that I've done so all of this is complete now and there isn't anything else to go in this section so I'll probably transfer it into my big folder at some point as you could see earlier there literally isn't any room at the moment so yeah so what I always have at the start of the sections are the module outline just telling me what the module is, uh, what will it be involved, what sort of assessments there are, any reading material, anything like that and it also outlines what lectures I have and what days. So I just keep that in the front and yeah it just continues on for these next few pages. And then I also have the list of readings as well for this module. They don't do this for every module but they did for this particular one. And then after that it just goes on to after all of this as well. It goes on to my actual lecture notes and I just always type up my lecture notes on Word. I just find it really efficient and easy and yeah it's just really quick for me to get everything down that I need to because not gonna lie lectures are pretty fast paced. So this is just the general outline of what my lecture notes look like. As you'll see in a bit with my main folder I do go through and highlight all of this in very bright colours and they do correspond to the divider. So for this section because the divider is blue I will kind of do blue and green highlighting for this section. Um, but yeah, for now I'm not going to highlight it because I like to do that around the time of revision and when I make my flashcards. So for now they do look pretty boring and pretty plain, they don't have the colourful titles. But like I said, when it comes to revision I will add all that as well. So for this module I had four lectures, there isn't really much to this module, um, it was quite a short one. And then at the back of each of the sections I keep all of my either revision notes or for this particular module I had workshops to go to and we had to make Make notes for the workshops so I've just included that in the back because they weren't actually lecture notes and that's everything for that first section and then as you can see a new module starts here these next two modules are the ones that I'm currently working on so that's why they're very incomplete so once again have the divider and the module outline is pretty much the same structure for each one like there isn't really anything different and then just have my lecture notes again I only have one for this module at the moment because as you know last week it snowed so all of my lectures were cancelled and I missed a load of work which means that I have more lectures this week which is pretty stressful because my timetable is already like jam-packed so yeah that's fun for me and then once again guess what I have another module and this is the second module that I'm currently working on it's exactly the same and that is just pretty much my everyday go-to folder there isn't really much to it like it's pretty simplistic I have the rest of the dividers from this set at the back ready for the next modules but yeah it's pretty simple how I set out that folder so I'm just gonna put that to one side and show you the layout of my main folder okay so now for the main folder I'm not gonna lie guys this was really heavy to bring over like this is one heft folder. Okay so I'm not gonna lie the setup is pretty much the same as the everyday folder so if it's a bit repetitive I'm really sorry but yeah so if I try and unclip this oh my god it's not even unclipping guys okay there we go so the first thing that I have in here is this plastic wallet which has a load of just really useful resources so it has all of the things to do with referencing and presentation skills and just all the websites and stuff that I would need to access so yeah I just have this at the front so it's really easy to reach and I know where everything is and then guess what it's the same structure so this is the first module that I ever did it was called psych 101 Again, I have the module outline and this is all of the notes highlighted and with titles. So as you can see, that's the only different thing about these lecture notes and about this folder. It just has everything fully complete, like all of the extra notes are added and this continues on for pretty much 
a whole different folder. The only thing different, again, no, nothing is even different. I just have at the back of this all of the, if I can get to it, I have all of the coursework stuff. So as I said earlier, in the front of that everyday folder, I had all of the coursework stuff and I kept it in that little plastic pocket file. And instead, because obviously I have to transfer every module to this big folder, I just keep it all in a plastic wallet. So this is the first piece of coursework we had to do. So yeah, it's basically it's the same structure. I just have it in a plastic wallet instead of like a pocket wallet. So yeah, it's not really much different. And yeah, this continues, continues, continues. And also in here I had my revision timetable, which you can't actually see, let me move it along. There we go, that's my revision timetable. If you do want me to do a video on my revision timetables actually, then I will do one for you, but it pretty much is the same as Eve Bennett. So if you watch Eve, this is basically the same setup as her. And also in here I have all of my revision because I did have exams in this particular module, so if I can get to it, I will show you. Okay. So here I have my my map and also my revision cards. I did make videos on these as well. I did a video on how I make my mind maps and a separate video on how I make my flashcards, which I will try and link below or on the screen now so you can go and check out. Please go and watch those videos if you want to see how I did all this because I did work really hard on those videos and you guys really requested it. So if you want any more tips on actual revision, then go and check those videos out. But yeah, I just put these at the end of the lecture notes for that particular section. So it's really hard to explain because for this module I had four different sections. I had clinical, social, learning and developmental. So this is my revision for the clinical section. And then if I keep going, this is where social psychology starts. So I have all my lecture notes for social psychology. And then once again, I have my mind map and revision cards. So that's pretty much the setup that's different. Like I just have my lecture notes and then the revision. And obviously I haven't done the revision yet for the modules that I'm currently working on. So that is literally the only difference. And this just continues and continues and continues. So every single module that I've done, I've currently done, done 101, 102, 104 and is that it? I can't even remember guys, oh my god. Yeah, I think it is four modules. Um, and then I've currently just done one and I'm currently working on two. So yeah, there's, as you can see, there's a lot of like modules, but yeah, literally, I can't express how this continues until the very end, which is, we move that along and this one, there. That's literally the end of the folder and yeah, this many notes later. How fun, like uni life is fun guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if you are thinking of going to uni or if you are applying this year and going in September, then just to warn you, make sure that you've got folders because honestly, you're gonna need a lot. Like this is just up to March and yeah, there's still loads more to go. So definitely prepare yourself with your folders because you're gonna need them. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. And I know it wasn't really that exciting and that really in depth just because it is pretty much the same structure for everything that I do in these folders. It's just that this folder is a lot heftier than this one, which has like this much in it. But yeah, that's the structure. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it helpful in some way, possibly. I hope you did. And definitely make sure that you check out the other girls' channel as well and their videos because I know that they've worked really hard on them and they would really appreciate it if you could go and give them some love so definitely tell them that I sent you and give this video a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video bye